Well, boys, we were talking these a few weeks ago. Now, well, you're section champions. Now, you're overall championship PIL league champions. Mark, um, you're not getting soaked this time. I'm talking to you. Thank goodness. Well, I'm sure you probably will when you get in there, like. But oh, oh here we go. What, what can I, what, <laughs> anyway, Mark. What can I say? Well, Mark, honestly, uh, work from the start. Well, I mean, these boys here were incredible goal scorers. The whole team, the whole squad. I mean, what a way to end this season. What, what a game. We've played 29 games this season, and we've lost one. And it's all down to him, him, him and his teammates. Yeah. They're an absolute credit to me, credit to their families and a credit to this football club. Yeah. And I couldn't be any prouder than the bunch of lads I have yeah. here. As I said to you a couple of weeks ago, I started here two years ago with no players. Mm. Not one player. And look what we've built. Absolutely. We've built a championship winning team. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start with uh, Ryan. I mean, Ryan, <laughs> another more goals again tonight. A hat-trick in the final. I mean, could you predict that coming here tonight? I mean, talk us to your goals, I mean, they were, they were well taken. It was a bit of a mistake by them at the back, but I mean, you took your goals well. Uh, for the first one, i just seen the keeper come out, and I, I just thought to myself, I'm going to take it around him, mm. and then I just slid it into the good net. Good ball over the top. I good ball over the top, <laughs> I. and then the second goal, Top-in. I can't remember what happened, <laughs> but I felt the guy come behind me, uh-huh. and then I seen him on the line, so I just shot and I got lucky around him, to be yeah. fair. And then the third goal, Kiwi done well down the line and squared it to me open that. So. I mean, you scored a few, go- well, say a few goals this season. You've scored quite a lot of goals, but I mean, to come here tonight and score a hat-trick, I mean, you couldn't have predicted that yourself, could you? No, not at all. Everyone gives me guff for scoring <laughs> against the lower league team, so I've shown that I score against the good teams. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, this man in the middle here who's been in the, f- the first team quite a bit this season, but I mean, to come here tonight and score an absolute worldly, I mean, what was going through your mind? Not that I just think, just hit it and that was it. Just Hit the top of the net. I'll never hit one leg out again. <laughs> never hit one leg out I'm again. I'm sure the boys in the first team will obviously have a go. I was too far up, up the pitch. I didn't know what I was doing up there. I just seen the ball coming towards me and I just yeah. hit it. And just seemed to go in the attack corner like that. Couldn't have hit it any sweeter, man. Especially of all nights tonight in the cup final. I'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. Never do it again. And you young man at the end to get the, the, the winning goal, the fifth goal. I mean, how's that, how's that feel to score a goal in, in, in the final? Uh, it was good. It just sort of fell perfectly for me. I was going to knee slide after I scored it, but <laughs> I was scared of my knees. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, he but, laid uh, off. Yeah. But I mean, your celebration, I thought you were actually going to run off the pitch and down the road I'm and obviously celebrate. I've run over to McGranda, so it was. So. Yeah. All right, okay, even yeah. better. But overall, I mean, Mark, I mean, they not, these boys were outstanding tonight. I mean, the support we had here tonight as well, which was just unbelievable. Um, I mean, the boys were just incredible from start to finish. I mean, what was going through your mind when it went from 3 1 up to 3 3? And did you think, oh, we're going to start to lo- lose this game? I thought, I said to the boys in the changing room, we'll come out at half time. I says, listen, they'll come out like a house on fire. We got to match it. But we didn't. And they got one, and then we got nervous. The best thing that happened to us was Eli getting injured. No disrespect, but once Eli got injured, we got a free sort of five minute break to get ourselves to Gower. And then all of a sudden, these boys done what they've done all year. Yeah. They were just absolutely magnificent. I'd just like to say, Matthew, just before we go any further, there's a few boys not here tonight. Um, young Kyle mcguigan has been instrumental all season. So this is for the likes of him and the rest of these boys. And I'd like to just thank my backroom staff. Mm-hmm. Without Warren, Keith and Bill, this wouldn't be possible. And overall, this club, yeah. the club, the support that this whole club would give us, the crowd that was down tonight, the first team manager, the, the committee, the boys in the past, you know, as I said, I said before, there, there's there's boys no longer here too, and, and the things they've done for us, and um, likes of Norman, and just everybody's been magnificent too. Yeah. Thank you to everybody in this club; it's been magnificent. We've caught there on the TV channel all the boys run a video call with Kyle McWiggin in Spain, Brilliant. the captain, captain. Obviously, a bit of tear in his eye, but we'll show that on the highlights later on. But I mean, guys, ways and go enjoy yourselves. And the beers to be drunk, man. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Well, boys. Yeah.